Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet. I'm going to use a bent and a standard chain nose plier. And as usual, I've linked all the items in the description box. These jump rings were made with 12 gauge aluminum wire. The larger ones are 13 mm and the smaller ones are 5 mm. This wire is 14 gauge and it is 2 inches. I'm going to use it to make the clasp. And I've got a round nose plier, a bail making plier, a needle file, a metal block, and a chasing hammer. To begin, you want to close the large jump rings and open the small ones. I'm going to start with two large jump rings and three small jump rings. Next, I'm going to add two large jump rings to a small one. And just go ahead and close that. Then I'm going to go ahead and add the other jump rings just the same. Then I'm going to separate them like this and you'll see that one of the larger jump ring is slightly sitting on top of the other. Next I'm going to add a large jump ring and two small jump rings. Add a small jump ring like this, then place a large one onto it, then close it. Then go ahead and add the second one just the same. So this is the method that I'm going to use to make the bracelet. Now I'm going to add three small jump rings and a large one so you'll need to add jump rings until you've got the length that you are going for this bracelet is going to be seven inches
If you don't know what size your bracelet is, what you can do is try it as you go along. And this is what it is going to look like when you've had the jump rings. Next, I'm going to make the clasp. This wire is 14 gauge at 2 inches, so you use the back of the cutter to cut your wire flush before you start. And you place it between the barrels of the round nose. Make sure that you cannot feel that wire sticking out. Then twist your dominant hand away from you and you twist again until you've got a loop. I'm going to grab my bail making plier and place the loop like this facing towards me at the third step. Then use my thumb to bend it and adjust the plier and bend it around like this. Then use your chain nose plier to bend out the end of the clasp like this. And I place it onto my bench block and gently hammer it and then i'm going to hammer this side this bit right here just a little bit more Next, I'm going to smooth the end of the clasp with the needle file. Now I'm going to go back in with the bail making plier to shape the clasp. So I just gently twist my hand away from me. To connect the clasp, grip the loop with your chain nose then twist it towards you place it onto the bracelet and close it like this so this is what it looks like on and then you can go ahead and try it on your wrist this is what it looks like on I do hope this tutorial was helpful. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.